Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to generate a bunch of random numbers that don't have any repeats. Let's say, for example, we wanted to generate a random number between 1 and 56. So each setting here has got to be a number between 1 and 56 here. And we don't want it to repeat. So let's pretend that we're generating random numbers here between 1 and 56 for our six numbers here. And we have a bonus number here. So to create this, what I need to do is create a random number generator and actually pull off of that depending on which row it's in. So let's start off here first with creating some random numbers, random numbers here. I'm going to use the rand function, press tab to complete that and just press enter, control enter to stay in that cell. And you see it's generated some random decimal number. I want to bring this down to number 56, the 56 row, because as I said before, I want to have 56 uh, numbers, 1 to 56, as the numbers that need to be randomly generated. So it'll, my first number may be 1. My second number can't be a 1. It's got to be either 2 to 56, right? So I'm going to create the whole formula here in this and pull it out here to the sixth one, and then I'll describe how it works. So what we need to do is I'm going to take a function called match, and um, inside of it, use another function called large, press tab, and large is going to take the array, it's going to take this array, basically my list from A1 to A56. Select that, control shift down arrow, will select this whole range, and I need to press the F4 key so I can put the dollar signs in front of this range, so when I copy it over, it doesn't change it. Select that, press F4, press F4, and then large. What this function is going to do, it's going to take the largest va the largest value based on that k. So it's going to be the f if I put one here, it's going to take the first largest value. If I did two, it's going to take the second largest value, right? So I'll put one here, close parentheses, and then comma and my lookup array. My lookup array is going to be the same range of data, right? So I just need to copy this, and then Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and comma. That's then my match type. I want to have an exact match. So I click on that, double click, close parentheses, press enter, and you now you notice that the first value is going to be 22. And in essence, what this formula is saying is the first largest value is in row 22. So it's going to be this one. So how do we know that? Well, let's validate that. I'm going to use a function called rank to validate that. Type in rank. I'll just use rank.eq this number, comma, and then the reference. The reference, I think I still had the reference A1 to A56 in my clipboard, so I'll just type Control V to bring it. Yep, that's there. Close parentheses, press Control Enter to stay in that cell, and this particular number is the 36th largest value. So let's double click the fill handle here to copy that formula down. You notice that every time I execute some function this random number generator regenerates and everything else changes. So now let's figure out the first number here, 42. The largest number here, the first, the largest number here is in row 42. So if I look in row 42, go down, go down, go down, row 42, and there you go, the rank has indicated or validated that that is the first largest number, right? Let me scroll back up here. And so what we can do here is we can actually copy this formula over here, and I can just take the fill handle here and drag it over here and copy it over. But it looks like everything's the same, and the reason why is because we need to change that one here. So that's not, in this setting, that becomes the second number, press tab, in this setting, this becomes the third number, tab. And this setting becomes the fourth number, tab. And this is the fifth largest number, tab. And this is the sixth largest number, right? So that will give us our, our changing values, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth largest values. And anytime I press F9 to recalculate my function here, my rand function here, now you notice there are no repeating numbers, right? I can press it all I want and nothing repeats because it's looking at, at the first largest, second largest, third largest, fourth, fifth, and sixth, depending on the row it's at, right? So there we've created random numbers. 
with a uh, with no repeating. Now, of course, if this was a lotto, we had our bonus number, and we can this one the number can repeat any of these numbers. So I can use another function. It's called the rand between function, and maybe the first number is one, and the top number is 49. Press enter, and now we have our bonus number. Of course, this one can match one of these numbers here, right? And so anytime I press F9, it will recalculate, and I have my random numbers here that don't repeat for my first six here, but my last one may repeat, right? Because that's a different rand function. It's called rand between. So there's the way that we can create a random number generator that doesn't have repeats. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.